Guys, look at this sweet PC. But too bad it's actually broken uh, right now. So let's try to fix it and see what we can do to do that. So this is a uh, customer's computer, but uh, I'm also it's it, it's also like my friend's computer. I went to high school with this guy, so uh, I'm fixing his computer today. It's pretty sweet. Uh, apparently, he had it built from Cyber Power PC, so. That's cool, I guess. Uh, it's actually a really, really ballin' PC. Look at my sweet socks, by the way. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take off the side panel later in this video, but, uh, yeah, like, it has liquid cooling, which is nice for the CPU. Wow, is it dark? Why are you being so dark, camera? There you go. Actually, maybe pick up a little bit of the inside because this sweet side panel, the Corsair 750D, um, something like that. I'm not really totally sure. Uh, let's see, it's an X99 motherboard with 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, let's see, I think it's a 5820K processor, which is pretty good. Uh, 980 Ti, uh, 1050 watt EVGA power supply. It's a pretty sweet computer. I mean, this computer is so much better than uh, my little piece of shit over there uh, with the fucking AMD processor. Um, but whenever he first brought it over, the issue he was talking about never happened. But, watch this, so, let's go ahead and plug this puppy in. Let's see it. Uh, if we can do that. Alright. And I'll press the power button. Turn this thing on. And turns on for like, a second, and it turns back off. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly what was happening with him, but that's what's happening now. <clears throat> I already tried taking out the RAM, didn't make any difference. Let's see, I also checked the connection on the 24 pin and the 8 pin up there. Both of those are just fine. Um, part of me thinks it might be a motherboard issue. Part of me thinks it might not be. Um, the weird thing that happens right now is you, you, so I just unplugged it by the way. You see those lights on the motherboard? I'm gonna hold down the power switch and I think that should drain the power. I mean, on all of my computers, whenever you unplug the computer, and then you hold down the power button, it drains all the power from the motherboard. But clearly there's more power left in there. Those lights only go off if I've had the computer off for a while. So yeah, like now they're going off. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, so part of me makes, makes me think that it's not a power supply issue, but I think I'm still gonna try to put like a little test power supply in there to see what happens. Yeah, see? Did the same thing once once like the power is drained then you can plug it back in and it'll do that so i don't know um uh, maybe i'll try resocketing the cpu i really doubtful that's the issue um yeah i don't know this is really confusing but i'll let you guys know what i do and we'll see what happens oh and by the way we're also doing a little upgrade to this computer too um i already put the ssd in there Ooh, there you go you can see it it's an nvme 960 evo it's a terabyte Holy shit, that fucking thing is crazy. Um, so, yeah, we're putting that in there. Uh, and then also, uh, he's getting another 980 Ti for SLI. Uh, but I don't have the bridge yet, um, because I forgot that I don't have one. So, uh, anyways, let's try to fix it first, though, because that's actually the more important job. Okay, I know this is really jank, but, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, I ripped the power supply out of, like, my little Dell desktop right here. Um, I did that because my main desktop, it has a much higher wattage power supply, it's 1200 watts, but, um, like, it, it's like there's a power shroud, or there's a power supply shroud and stuff, it would just be a pain in the ass to get out of there. So it was just way easier to get out of this little Dell right here. Even though it's only 430 watts, which I don't think is enough to run the graphics card, which is why I took the graphics card out and I put it over here. Um, but, uh, so that's why there's no graphics card in there. And that's why it's not really gonna totally boot. Um, but watch this. So the computer wasn't booting pretty much at all um, with uh, the EVGA power supply that's actually down there. And, oh well, it's not doing it now. Okay, but now it's running. Okay. <laughs> okay, the first time I pressed the power button it didn't run, but okay. Yeah, so that makes me kind of think it's a power supply related issue. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's still booting. As you can see, it's the code is D6. I think that's because there's no graphics card installed. Um, I looked it up online and it was like there's no output or something. AE, I have no idea what that is. Um, but uh, 
Yeah, so it's at least per, like turning on. Um, so I don't know, kind of weird. Um, it's still kind of acting funny every once in a while. Um, like I just did there earlier where I turned it on and it shut back off. But now it's fine, I guess. I don't know. Could be because my power supply probably honestly isn't enough wattage um, because it's a pretty uh, powerful CPU, I'm guessing. So, um, yeah, I don't know if 430 watts is even enough for the CPU. Um, I, I would imagine it is, but I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, maybe I'll look into replacing the power supply for my customer, um, which would kind of suck because that's a nice power supply. But I'll keep you guys updated. Woo! And there she is running. Oh, yeah. So I've done like, uh, quite a few upgrades. Uh, basically, I was kind of waiting for the power supply to come in, and that's the new one right there, which is uh, working right now, which is awesome. So the computer booted just fine with this new power supply, um, even using the same old cables that we had in there. Of course, those weren't the issue. I mean, cables are almost never the issue, so uh, yeah, text. Uh, so uh, that's pretty sweet. Got Windows installing right now. I'm installing Windows 7 Pro because that's what... Uh, uh, the owner of this computer likes, uh, which I guess I don't really blame him, even though um, I kind of like Windows 10 personally. But uh, anyway, so there, there was actually an issue with Windows 7 that I finally figured out. I'm installing Windows 7 onto this little thing right here. Samsung 960 Evo, NVMe SSD. Windows 7 apparently doesn't have NVMe drivers. Charlie doesn't either. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of an issue, but uh, we uh, finally figured it out. Got some drivers on the uh, iOS or on the bootable drive, and uh, finally worked. So that's awesome. And uh, yeah, now so now we're doing that. Looks like the installation is almost finished up, so that should be cool. Hopefully, it boots up really quick. I'll show you guys how that goes. Also, I had to change the fan curve. I don't know why the hell, but the CP I put a new CPU fan on there because the old one was just crappy. And um, yeah, so this is a Corsair fan. It's pretty pretty nice. Um, I don't know if you can really see it too much from the back, but uh, I think it's like one of their pro fans, 120 millimeter. Um, has like rubber corners and stuff like that, so it shouldn't have any vibration issues with the uh, radiator. So that's cool, but yeah, it was super loud, so I changed the fan profile, uh, whatever. Uh, but beyond that, yeah, that's cool stuff. Uh, I'll let you guys know how everything goes. I'm gonna be putting that graphics card in there pretty soon. I figured for Windows installation, didn't really need two graphics cards, so I'll put the other one in there later. Uh, and then also, oh by the way, the power supply came with new cables, which is awesome because I need new cables for the new graphics card, so that's awesome. Uh, but uh, I got a uh, SLI bridge here that I'm going to be painting with Plasti Dip, so watch out for that in a video that either came out before this or after this. I'm not really sure, but I'll be painting that motherfucker pretty soon. Pretty cool. Are you recording? <laughs> Stop. Stop it. <laughs> And here's uh, my customer's uh, computer finally uh, put that put back together and everything. So both the graphics cards are in there and I'll start off with this. The SLI bridge. I had to get a longer one because uh, one that I had that was black uh, wasn't long enough for the, uh, like there's a slot in between the graphics cards here which is gonna give that top one a little bit better airflow. So I painted that with Plasti Dip. It went decently well. I don't wanna take it out of the computer and show you guys, but um, as you can tell, it's a little bit splotchy. It's, yeah, it's the first time I've ever used Pl uh, plasti dip so it's decent but it's not that not that good but if we go over to windows sli is enabled so it's actually working so that's awesome uh and i i, I actually didn't know this the kingpin card i think is rgb because as you can see it's cycling through some colors there which is pretty badass as well and i actually forgot about a switch to talk about in the video in the unboxing there's uh, different uh, bioses which is cool uh, and you can actually use it for lm2 cooling which is pretty sweet uh, let's see. I think I had an update on the power supply, but of course the power supply is in there now. I don't know if I really made it. I, I think I did. But yeah, power supply is in there and it's working really nicely, which is awesome. I had to get a lot more of the power cables. Thankfully the power supply came with some more power cables because that, that new card needs uh, three uh, power plugs, which is freaking crazy. So beyond that, uh, Windows 7 is installed on the NVMe SSD, which is kind of underneath this second graphics card here. Um, you, you can see the M.2 branding right there, but it's really right underneath the graphics card, which probably isn't best for cooling of the M.2 drive, but yeah, so we finally got Windows on there, and Windows 7 to install an NVM drive, uh, NVMe drive, uh, requires finding the drivers for it, which was kind of a pain in the butt, 
but I finally found it and Windows is installed on there, which is pretty ballin'. Beyond that, I don't know if there's really too much else to say. The performance I've tested so far seems to be pretty good. Um, and I don't know, painting that SLI bridge went pretty well. That's some of the tape that I used to cover up the connector so it wouldn't get uh, paint in there. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. So it'll be a good uh, build for the computer, build for the uh, customer. Has of course some good in storage. Uh, terabyte 960 Evo from Samsung and NVMe drive. Should be really quick. Uh, hard drive for some games. And a little bit of SSD that used to have a boot drive. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. And then of course the processor is a 5820K. 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Liquid cooling, which is nice. I actually replaced the fan with the of course there, I think I already talked about that in a video, but it's a lot quieter. I set up the fan profile in the BIOS to make it silent too, which is pretty cool. And beyond that, it's just a pretty nice computer. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, and yeah, I could have got some 1080s in this computer, but you already had a 980 Ti, so I don't know. It's kind of almost just easier just to add another one. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you uh, have anything to say about it, leave it in the comment section below. But this is way better than my computer, so <laughs> I'll just leave you guys with that. Anyways, peace out.